Ooh, look at the shiny Kokomi. This is what I love about looking at things in slow-mo. This Kokomi Farina burst effect is just so, so, so good. But that's obviously not what you are here for today. So let's talk a bit about Kokomi and Farina and how you should be using Farina's fan face tags with Kokomi to get the most out of both of these characters. So what I'm going to do is look at the fan face tag generation assuming a C0 Farina and I'll show you what a C6 Farina does and how quickly you can build it with Kokomi. It's absolutely crazy. But at a C0 level if you just have your entire party at max HP and Farina's the only one that's going to drain your HP then unfortunately you're not going to get to the max stacks and Kokomi's elemental burst will be over before you've even hit the cap. So now you might be saying, well, how do I even know when I've reached the cap? So this is something that might be confusing to a lot of people. So let me just quickly skip here to Farina. So I'll explain this very, very quickly. When it comes to Farina's elemental burst, there are a couple of little small indicators that tell you how far you are when it comes to building fan face stacks. The first one is obviously going to be the number of little critters that'll pop up right here at the bottom. So as you can see, uh, as I've paused, you only have three of these guys and the more of the of these members are in the audience or the more of a crowd you build up, the more fanfare you are generating with Farina. So that's actually how it works. Let's just see if we can skip forward slightly. I think right here you can see once again, as we're obviously now healing up and you can see here my damage numbers and healing numbers are going up. We're obviously generating more fanfare stacks and I can't remember the exact percentages but the more of these little critters you see well the more you've already built so you'll see the this little animation three times uh, before the final little pop so we should be able to see this one more time so this means you've now got almost like the whole audience ready and so on we're getting near the maximum fan face tags and obviously Kokomi's elemental burst has run out but doesn't matter we're still going to be building fan face tags because Freena's burst is up and right here you'll see just in a moment there you go with this little special effect right here in the middle, that means you've reached the maximum fanfare stack. Now, obviously, here is a bit of a problem. Uh, we've already ran out of Kokomi's elemental burst, so you cannot just rely on Farina and Farina alone when everyone's max HP to build fanfare stacks. The immediate implication of this is that you would want to be very careful when you're in the spiral abyss not to use Kokomi's jellyfish too early. The problem is, is if you start healing up before Farina's elemental burst or even during Farina's elemental burst animation, you might be like undoing the HP changes effect and you'll be building fanfare stacks quite a bit slower. So actually let's go to the spiral abyss and see how you should actually properly play this. So once again with a little taser c0 farina team let's see what's going to happen i'm not going to play this in slow motion but as you can see here with what i'm doing i'm setting up the taste i'm setting up farina waiting for that hp drain and i'm not using kokomi's jellyfish until about right now so you can see here halfway in between i'm using the jellyfish because at this point if the enemies really hit you hard or you lost a lot of HP, that could potentially be a, a point where you just want to use the jellyfish and just ramp up those fanfare stacks just to then get that extra bit of damage for Kokomi. But yeah, as you can see here, we're now going to quickly put Fischl back up. Here's Kokomi back up. Very, very comfy taser team. And obviously now that Kokomi's health is very low, we put out the jellyfish immediately. And you can see here, we've already hit like the maximum fanfare stack. So this is how you would want to play. Just be very careful careful in terms of how and when you use Kokomi's jellyfish so you can get the maximum effect. So for those of you that might be interested, so let's just see here when Farina used her elemental burst. Let's quickly count exactly when we got the maximum fanfare stack. So last time it took us about 12 seconds with Kokomi's elemental burst. Let's see how long it's going to take here. So obviously here's a little official uh, putting up back Oz and here we go with Kokomi. So let's just see in slow motion, it's gonna happen. There's the first crowd, and we're now gonna put down Kokomi's jellyfish, and we're gonna heal up quite a bit more, so you should be able to see the crowd again. So this is definitely a lot quicker than in the standalone. There we go, the third round. So we're very near near like the max fan face stacks, and it should happen right about now. So Kokomi still has a good four seconds left. So you can see at the 12 minute mark, and we now have the maximum fan face stacks, which means also the maximum amount of healing. So the bleed effect is obviously not going to matter as much. So this is really the types of things you need to consider uh, 
when playing with Kokomi and Farina. So let's follow this now up with a demonstration of the C6 effect, which is the one that you saw right here. So what I'm now going to do is play with a C6 Farina, and you'll see that this is going to be quite a, a bit of a showcase. So let's, just to sort of confirm to you, we're at talent level 12 because, well, we couldn't farm anything more. There we go, at C6. So this is just going to be absolutely amazing. And here is Kokomi. So here's a little quick spoiler. Um, it takes about, at the slowest, two seconds. And if you've already lost a bit of health, Kokomi can generate max fan fest stacks within one second or less than one second. It's absolutely crazy, uh, like at a C6 level, just how you can do this. So obviously this is one of those little hidden tricks and benefits of, of the C6 characters or like Farina C2. You get the fan fest stack so quickly that it really doesn't matter if you use Kokomi's jellyfish early on the field or not, um, because you'll just build it like 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 a madman. All right, so let's just see against Masanori here. Let's skip forward. Apologies for a little delay. All right, so right here again, everyone's going to be at full health, and we're only going to depend on Farina's um, HP drain. I want to do this in a way such that Masanori doesn't hit us, so that we don't cheat when it comes to building fan fist stacks. But look at that, and we've. There we go. We've already built the maximum fan face stacks. That's absolutely crazy. This is even faster than in the C0 case. So you can see right about here. We it's it's look at look at that. You've got almost the whole duration of Kokomi's elemental burst up and ready. And that's just crazy with how quickly she builds this. So you can see here the only thing that's taking up health is the little pets and they're just gonna go one two hit there with Kokomi already 2k um, HP heal with flag per tick it's just insane and there you go on the fourth hit it's maximum fan face tax and that is the slow version that is the 2.283 uh, second version the faster version is gonna be right here so we're just gonna quickly build up some more fan face tax I think it's right here I can't remember so here is Farina here's Kokomi and we're now going to see once again the exact same situation everyone full health and Kokomi is or not full health um, but with a bit of flag like, reduced health and you can just see uh, the moment Kokomi hits it, it we've already got it so instead of 15 it's now 16.4 so it just shows you how quick it is even with a little bit of HP lost due to the enemies hitting you or the rift downs or whatever Kokomi is just going to build it up and then you are just suddenly going to be hitting for 22k there you can see 20k hits it's it really is ridiculous and by the way c2 farina allows her to go up to 71k hp which means the little summons here in the background are just going to hit like so so hard you can see the crab a letter with almost 60k it's it really is something so let's see this in an abyss context so not running the what do you call it um taser team but the hyper bloom team here Oop, let's quickly put the sound down there we go and you'll see now exactly how crazy this is. So here we go. We're going to do this. Ensure the little HP drain. And now Kokomi is going to come on field. And let's see when we can pick up when she... There we go. So immediately, you just immediately have max fan face stacks. Um, it doesn't matter even if the corrosion was like three times stronger. This team would just be able to comfortably beat up everything. You can see it's it's so crazy. Once again, we're just constantly looping. And that's what I love about these characters. We're just going to finish them off with Farina. And then obviously we're just going to then um, beat up these enemies. There's no need to even run into the corner. But yeah, guys, that's it. That is a bit of a more detailed look into Kokomi and Farina when it comes to these fanfare stacks and what you really need to take into account. So hopefully this can help you plan out your rotations in the abyss and also give you a bit of insights into how exactly all of this works.